Praise be Jesus Christ. <clears throat> People listening to Jesus was very much impressed that he taught with authority and not like a rabbis who would quote another authorities. Jesus taught on the basis of his own authority as a teacher of Israel, as a son of God, as one sent to redeem the people. And Jesus' teaching was very simple. He used uh, parables. He spoke to the people about things they knew from ordinary life. They spoke about sowing and reaping, about sheep and shepherding. He spoke about trees and how they grow and plants. He spoke about lost coin and lost sheep. Those were the ordinary experiences of the people. But he also, under all those parables, he gave a very deep understanding of the kingdom of God. He spoke as one who had personal experience of God. He knew God's life. He was telling the people who listened to him to follow him and to listen carefully and to live good life according to the law and according to the law above all, law of love. Love while God above all things and your neighbor as yourself. And no wonder a thousand people walk with him being hungry and thirsty, being tired, and yet his words were the soothing oil on their souls because they felt accepted. He said, I came to call sinners, not the just. This was something new. People who approached him, lepers could come to him and be touched. The blind will cry, Jesus, son of David, Heal me, help me, I want to be whole. People were making different ways to approach Jesus. We read that once when Jesus was walking to Jericho, there was a very important man, tax collector named Zacchaeus, who climbed a tree. And it seems he was looking for Jesus, but actually, Jesus turned his eyes on him and said, Zacchaeus, I have to be at your home today. Zacchaeus, in a way, spiritually speaking, went on the limb very far. Maybe to taunting of the crowds, maybe a ridicule of his friends, but he wanted to be with Jesus. That is how it happened with all of us. It, is, it seems that we are looking for Jesus, but actually Jesus is calling us and bringing us to himself. He's saying to us, saying to you and to me, I want to be with you today. Despise of everything else. Unfortunately, some of the people who listen to the teaching of Jesus are saying, it is too hard to follow you. The same is today with the church, when church teaches on the dignity of human life, on chastity, or honesty, of being open to, to the world and to safe environment. Some say the teaching of the church is too harsh, but yet Jesus is in the church. He is the church, he is Jesus, he is the church today, is the Jesus of our times, and he's teaching us. And so many people are so enthused to meet Jesus in different situations of life. And maybe they, maybe you or your friends, go far on the limb to meet with Jesus. But actually Jesus is saying, I want to be with you today. 
He is looking for you and for me. Let those thoughts linger in your mind and bring you closer to your family, to your friends, bring you closer to sacraments, because all of us, we need that special supernatural help to live in this world of ours, to give us strength. Let us hold tight hand of Jesus, because he wants to be with us today.